back. Welcome back to Mass Effect. Now we need to go and meet up with Rex. Get my my big angry Krogan boy. Oh my. Oh my. Your biotics impressive. I'm surprised that humans stop using the L2 configuration with results like yours. My addicts can be pretty bad, and I'm one of the lucky L2 implants. The L3s are safer. Humanity will be judged by the sacrifices its people are willing to make, Lieutenant. The Turians would have kept the L2 implants. Think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. This is gonna In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. All right, now we just need to find the elevator to CSEC. Oh, here's this quest. Not allowed in here. This one... That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. All right, goodbye, Chachar. This one offers its thanks. You're welcome. There you go. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Eh, it had to be done. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. You should. I will take a med gel. So first things first, let's head to the embassies. And then we will head to Shiara. No. Rude.
strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You would think. Yeah, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. You're welcome. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Hey, Chuby. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. I can end you with a thought. You know what, Volus, just for that, I'm going to do the Renegade option twice. I will reload and do it a second time. Yeah, yeah, how you like that? I, I keep adding more. Allow me to be your guide. Every time a Volus talks back to me, I'll do it an extra time. I'll have an entire video just me doing it on loop. Alright, next, Consort Chambers. Excuse me. Save. Boop. Yes. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid. Hey, him. achievement. Complete five missions of the alliance and oh, ah. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Yoink. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. All right. Uh, oh, Garrus, I forgot we have uh, you to do, which obviously will be a sword rifle and sniper. Uh, we will focus on the sniper portion once we get to it. Let's quickly just do that and then 
I think that is a good starting spread. You moved. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Your brother's a scrub who uh, needs to get good. Okay, now we'll head to CSAC. Boop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I remember there being an elevator you took. I thought there was a warp too, but I guess not. I think the elevator is this side. I remember it being near the embassies. Or not, yeah, near the embassies. And I don't have any... I was looking for quest. Oh, journal. Here we go. Cool. Yeah, it's the same thing. Was it down here? To cool, see it's Academy, yep. Like having the counter is nice and all, I just wish uh, I could... I wish I didn't have the black background, even that would a just be an improvement. Excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Here we go. Alright, where's second party member? There he is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. He's all yours. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. So, boop. boop. Okay, we got some biotic. Obviously, we're definitely on the combat side. There's Liara and Tally. If I do a second play, I, mean, I probably will. I, I, I don't play the Mass Effect games as much and as often as I play the Dragon Age games, which I play a lot. Literally, I think I go through Dragon Age Origins and 2, like, at least once a year. Inquisition, not as much. It's my least favorite of the trilogy. But, you know, I, I definitely do also play the Mass Effect games a lot. Just not as much as the Dragon Age. I probably specifically go through Mass Effect 2 once a year. I think, I think it's safe to that. I go through Mass Effect 2 once a year. Maybe I go through 1 every other year, and then I go through 3 like every, every other year. You know, once we get to 2, we'll have you know, stuff where I remember a lot more.
Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. I just walked into the uh, training room, didn't I? Ship dock, okay. And is there at least? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yes. I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm a badass. I'm I know. Sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a C-Sec officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. See you, Ling. If you ever see a sci-fi ninja, shoot him for me, please. Thank you. Sci-fi ninjas are not allowed. That was loud. Was that from in here? No, but here's where we rescue Tally. I think I remember the red. Isn't this where you get in the gunfight? Yes, yes, this is. Because you come down here and then... You see them, so fists should be just over here. Should we court this den? Or at least towards it? Yep. Yep, because this is the market. Ha ha! My br- actually wait, court this den was right through there, I'm an idiot. Right here. Uh, before we do that, Rex. Uh, I need to get to here. Cool. Then let's get there. Hello, Chubby. How are you, Meow Meow Kitty? Now you guys... Yeah, we're about to be in a gunfight. So, grunt. Cool, you're already on shotgun. Cool, you're already on sword. Perfect. Go, go, go! Grunt, what are you doing? Why is that not detonating? There, he's dead. Quickly.
Get my cover with my shield to regen. Don't mess with the ship. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse work. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. Save yourselves. You know, if you're not soldiers, I don't want to kill you. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah? Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. <laughs> Shepard doesn't want to kill civilians. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. I mean, it can always work as an answer, just not always the good answer. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, anything... Anything worthwhile. Whoops. No, no, no. Start talking. Tell me where the Quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. All yours, Grunt. What are you doing? Er, Rex, Shot sorry, Grunt too. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Yep, now we're on the timer, but it can wait because I'm looting. It's a lot more time than you actually need. But everything? Alright. Run. Let's beef up that shotgun of yours. There you go. Garrus. 
Let's beef up that assault rifle. There you go. Let's go save Tally. myself up with the caustic that's it bag of attack we can just go this way all right there they are Let's go introduce ourselves. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Engaging target. Is that Garrus? No, it's not. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Hello, Tally. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. True. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Just doing my job. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. There. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. 
That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files yes, prove that's what's Saren's important. a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. Keep the Reaper thing Whatever. on the down low. The Quarian. But... My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Fair. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Boop, boop. Yeah, in my second playthrough, I'll probably romance Tally or, uh, Liara. And Miranda's great and all, but... Hello, quest. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Are you the body quest? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. It is. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. That's garbage. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. I feel that, bro. This way, right? Where's you? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Shepard, what can I do for you now? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I know if he had anything new to say. Here's the bar. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nurali. Serviceman Nurali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. 
The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. That's true, but... This isn't right still. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Is this what I'm out here fighting for? A government that steals the bodies of its honored dead? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Thank you. I mean, I personally, I get on the body, I'll be honest. You know, we don't know what the new weapons are doing to it. But, Jane Shepard, you know, wants what she wants. Respect the dead. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. It's a mesh. All right, so let's go speak with the council because I don't think we have any other. Oh, I leveled up. Okay, I mean, first of all, boost assault rifles. Second of all, charm. Third of all, let's put adrenaline burst is useful. That's uh, if I do like health regen, we'll take one point soldier just for a health increase, b health regen. All right, buff up assault rifle, buff up sniper. And there we go. Make you guys better in your respective guns. Please choose a location. Wee Space cars! Wee! Technically, if you think about it, they're not space cars, they'd be Citadel cars! Wow, you just ruin all the moods! Haha, -ha, I am a stinker! Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 
50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. You're really not going to hinder him at all. Not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. Turian ally. I assume for completing five quests with uh with the Turian. A Garrus. Vokarian. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Your face is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions. Officer. I don't have money, Anderson, fool. Come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. And I've got the Spectre talents. Uh, not that I have the points to, uh, you know, go into them. How much money do I have? I mean, hey, I'll take that. I've got 1950. Okay, so it's not a gun part. Here it is. Boop. Beep boop boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep. Yeah, space cars! Citadel cars, fuck you! Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. That sounds pretty sus. I 
think it's over here for the Spectre stuff. Down here, right? Hey, I was right. Memory. One sec. Looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. You should be sorry, nerd. No problem. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Good. Enjoy. I will, maybe. Do you have a license? I assume no, but I'm going to check anyways. You do have a license. Yoink. Sure, I'll take grenade upgrade. All right. Uh, sell. There we go. Sort by price. Okay, can't do like. Let's get to the bottom. I have nothing I can afford. Cool. Peace. Shepherd out. I got my screen cap. All right. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. That sounds bad. All right. Let's get on up to the Normandy. Right? Or no. Uh, Welcome counselor's office. Allow me to be your guide. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Or not. My coming here would have been the, uh, okay. Uh, well, then I assume I need to get to the ship. Because, okay, cool. So, back to CSEC! My brain is so wrinkly, definitely. Definitely not smooth. Very wrinkly brain. I can end you with a thought. Oh, Monsieur Elevator, hello. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, Serviceman Batia, joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. Or I could not. You know, that's also an option. I think it was you to the dockyard then? 
In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. I'm in. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Hello, Udina. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. So, any word on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reaper? Uh, is that it? Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. Yep. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Mm, let's go get Liara. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? You and Saren have a past. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work. But the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. Mm -hmm. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. True. 
I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. On to the Normandy we go. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh no! What happened to Captain Anderson? Survives a hundred battles. That was fast. Down by backroom politics. That wasn't a cut. That just, just worked. Back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission. You're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever Not humanity must be alone. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We have three aliens on our team. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Ah, oh, yeah, renegade points. Mmm, tasty. Anyways. Let's have a let's have a little conversation with Joker. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her, balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I've got Vrolic Syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless... You know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. I have to go. All right, see ya. I'm just kind of taking multiple pictures. I don't know which ones I can use for which videos. But, uh, definitely gonna take one here.